The Mini is a small economy car made by the British Motor Corporation and its successors from 1959 until 2000. The original is considered a British icon of the 1960s. Its space-saving front-wheel drive layout a Euro allowing 80% of the area of the car's floor pin to be used for passengers and luggage a Euro influenced a generation of car makers. The vehicle is in some ways considered the British equivalent of its German contemporary the Volkswagen Beetle, which enjoyed similar popularity in North America or the Fiat 500. In 1999 the Mini was voted the second most influential car of the 20th century, behind the Ford Model T. This distinctive two-door car was designed for BMC by Sir Alec Isagonis. It was manufactured at the Longbridge and Cowley plants in England, the Victoria Park slash Zetland British Motor Corporation factory in Sydney, Australia, and later also in Spain, Belgium, Chile, Italy, Malta, Portugal, South Africa, Uruguay, Venezuela and Yugoslavia. The Mini Marker had three major UK updates a Euro the Mark II the Clubman and the Mark III. Within these was a series of variations, including an estate car, a pickup truck, a van and the Mini Moke a Euro a Jeep-like buggy. The Mini Cooper and Cooper S were sportier versions that were successful as rally cars, winning the Monte Carlo Rally four times from 1964 through to 1967, although in 1966 the Mini was disqualified after the finish, along with six other British entrants which included the first four cars to finish, under a questionable ruling that the cars had used an illegal combination of headlamps and spotlights. On introduction in August 1959 the Mini was marketed under the Austin and Morris names, as the Austin 7 and Morris Mini Minor. The Austin 7 was renamed to Austin Mini in January 1962 and Mini became a mark in its own right in 1969. In 1988 it once again became the Austin Mini and in 1988 the Rover Mini. Design and Development Designated by Leonard Lord as Project AD015 and the product of the Morris design team, the Mini came about because of a fuel shortage caused by the 1956 Suez Crisis. Petrol was once again rationed in the UK, sales of large cars slumped, and the market for German bubble cars boomed. Lord the somewhat autocratic head of BMC, reportedly detested these cars so much that he vowed to rid the streets of them and design a proper miniature car. He laid down some basic design requirements, the car should be contained within a box that measured 10A, 4A, 4 feet. And the passenger accommodation should occupy 6 feet of the 10-foot length. And the engine, for reasons of cost, should be an existing unit. Isagonis who had been working for Alvis, had been recruited back to BMC in 1955 and, with his skills in designing small cars, was a natural for the task. The team that designed the Mini was remarkably small, as well as Isagonis, there was Jack Daniels, Chris Kingham, two engineering students and four draftsmen. Together, by October 1957, they had designed and built the original prototype, which was affectionately named the Orange Box, because of its color. The AD015 used a conventional BMC A series four cylinder, water cooled engine, but departed from tradition by mounting it transversely, with the engine oil lubricated, four speed transmission in the sump, and by employing front wheel drive. Almost all small front wheel drive cars developed since have used a similar configuration, except with the transmission usually separately enclosed rather than using the engine oil. The radiator was mounted at the left side of the car so that the engine mounted fan could be retained, but with reversed pitch so that it blew air into the natural low pressure area under the front wing. This location saved vehicle length, but had the disadvantage of feeding the radiator with air that had been heated by passing over the engine. It also exposed the entire ignition system to the direct ingress of rainwater through the grill. The suspension system, designed by Isagonis' friend Dr. Alex Moulton at Moulton Development Limited, used compact rubber cones instead of conventional springs. This space-saving design also featured rising progressive rate springing of the cones, and provided some natural damping, in addition to the normal dampers. Built into the subframes, the rubber cone system gave a raw and bumpy ride accentuated by the woven webbing seats, but the rigidity of the rubber cones, together with the wheels positioning at the corners of the car, gave the Mini go-kart-like handling. 
initially an interconnected fluid system was planned, similar to the one that Alec Isagonis and Alex Moulton were working on in the mid-1950s at Alvis. They had assessed the mechanically interconnected Citroën N2CV suspension at that time, which inspired the design of the hydroelastic suspension system for the Mini and Morris Austin 1100, to try to keep the benefits of the 2CV system, but with added roll stiffness that the 2CV lacked. The short development time of the car meant this was not ready in time for the Mini's launch. The system intended for the Mini was further developed and the hydroelastic system was first used on the Morris 1100, launched in 1962. The Mini gained the system later in 1964. Ten-inch wheels were specified, so new tires had to be developed, the initial contract going to Dunlop. Isagonis went to Dunlop stating that he wanted even smaller, eighter in wheels. An agreement was made on the 10-inch size, after Dunlop rejected the 8-inch proposition. Sliding windows allowed storage pockets in the hollow doors. Reportedly Isagonis sized them to fit a bottle of Gordon's gin. The boot lid was hinged at the bottom so that the car could be driven with it open to increase luggage space. On early cars the number plate was hinged at the top so that it could swing down to remain visible when the boot lid was open. This feature was later discontinued after it was discovered that exhaust gases could leak into the cockpit when the boot was open. The Mini was designed as a monocoque shell with welded seams visible on the outside of the car running down the A and C pillars, and between the body and the floor pan. Those that ran from the base of the A pillar to the wheel well were described as averted to provide more room for the front seat occupants. To further simplify construction, the hinges for the doors and boot lid were mounted externally. Production models differed from the prototypes by the addition of front and rear subframes to the inability to take the suspension loads, and by having the engine mounted the other way round, with a carburetor at the back rather than at the front. This layout required an extra gear between engine and transmission to reverse the direction of rotation of the input to the transmission. Having the carburetor behind the engine reduced carburetor icing, but the distributor was then exposed to water coming in through the grill. The engine size was reduced from 948 to 848 to cc. This, in conjunction with a small increase in the car's width, cut the top speed from 90 to 72 a mile per hour. The mini shape had become so well known that by the 1990s, Rover Group a Euro the heirs to BMCA a Euro were able to register its design as a trademark in its own right. Mark I Mini, 1959 a Euro 1967. The production version of the Mini was demonstrated to the press in April 1959, and by August several thousand cars had been produced ready for the first sales. The Mini was officially announced to the public on August 26, 1959. Some 2,000 cars had already been sent abroad and would be displayed that day in nearly 100 countries. The first example, a Morris Mini Minor with a registration 621 AOK is on display at the Heritage Motor Center in Warwickshire. Another early example from 1959 is now on display at the National Motor Museum in Hampshire. The Mini was marketed under BMC's two main brand names, Austin and Morris until 1969, when it became a mark in its own right. The Morris version was known to all as the Mini, or Mini Minor. The word Minor is Latin for lesser. So an abbreviation of the Latin word for least a a euro minimum use a euro was used for the new even smaller car. One name proposed for the Austin version was Austin New Market. Austin dealers sold their almost identical car as an Austin 7, which recalled the popular small Austin 7 of the 1920s and 1930s. Morris Mini Minor seems to have been a play on words. The Morris Minor was a larger, well-known and successful car that continued in production. Until 1962, the cars appeared as the Austin 850 and Morris 850 in North America and France, and in Denmark as the Austin Partner and Morris Mascot. The Morris name Mini was first used for Austin's version by BMC in 1961 when the Austin 7 was rebranded as the Austin Mini, somewhat to the surprise of the Sharps Commercials Car Company, who had been using the name Mini Car for their three-wheeled vehicles since 1949. However, legal action was somehow averted, and BMC used the name Mini thereafter. In 1964, 
The suspension of the cars was replaced by another Moulton design, the hydroelastic system. The new suspension gave a softer ride, but it also increased weight and production cost. In 1971, the original rubber suspension reappeared and was retained for the remaining life of the Mini. From October 1965 the option of the unique automotive products designed for speed automatic transmission became available. Cars fitted with this became the Minimatic. Slow at the outset, Mark I sales strengthened across most of the model lines in the 1960s, and production totaled 1,190,000. Ford purchased a Mini and dismantled it to see if they could offer an alternative. Ford determined that the BMC must have been losing around a 30 pounds per car, and so decided to produce a larger car in a Euro the Cortina, launched in 1962 a Euro was its competitor in the budget market. BMC insisted that the way company overheads were shared out, the Mini always made money. Larger profits came from the popular deluxe models and from optional extras such as seat belts, door mirrors, a heater and a radio which would be considered necessities on modern cars, as well as the various Cooper and Cooper S models. The Mini entered into popular culture in the 1960s with well-publicized purchases by film and music stars. The Cooper S version was also used by some brightest and police departments as a plain clothes car. Mark II Mini, 1967 a Euro 1970, the Mark II Mini, of which 429,000 were produced, featured a redesigned grille. A larger rear window and numerous cosmetic changes were introduced. A variety of mini types were made in Pamplona, Spain, by the Orthi company from 1968 onwards, mostly under the Morris name. Variants, the popularity of the original mini spawned many models that targeted different markets. Wolseley Hornet and Riley Elf. Built as more luxurious versions of the mini, both the Wolseley Hornet and the Riley Elf had longer, slightly thinned rear wings and larger boots that gave the cars a more traditional three-box design. Wheelbase of the Elf and Hornet remained at 2.036 am, whereas the overall length was increased to 3.27 am. This resulted in a dry weight of 638 kg-642.3 kg for the Elf and 618 kg-636.4 kg for the Hornet respectively. Front-end treatment, which incorporated each mark's traditional upright grille design, also contributed to a less utilitarian appearance. The cars had larger diameter chrome hubcaps than the Austin and Morris Minis, and additional chrome accents bumper overriders and wood veneer dashboards. The Riley was the more expensive of the two cars. The name Wilsley Hornet was first used on a 1930s sports car, while the name Elf recalled the Riley Sprite and Imp sports cars, also of the 1930s. The full-width dashboard was a differentiator between the Elf and Hornet. This dashboard was the idea of Christopher Milner the sales manager for Riley. Both the Riley Elf's and Wolseley Hornet's bodies were built at Fisher and Ludlow under their Fisher Low brand name. Plates in the engine compartment on the right side Fitch plate bear evidence of this speciality. Very early Mark I versions of both cars had no overriders on the bumpers and a single piece front wing that was soon given up again, allegedly due to cost. The Elf's and Hornet's special bumper overriders first appeared in 1962. Early production Mark is also had a combination of leather and cloth seats whereas all later models had full leather seats. Mark I models were equipped with single leading shoe brakes on the front. Both the Elf and the Hornet went through three versions. Initially, they used the 848cc 34 bhp engine with a single HS2 carburetor, changing to a single HS2 carburetor 38 a bhp version of the Cooper's 998 cc power unit in the Mark II in 1963. This increased the car's top speed from 71 to 77 a mile per hour. Therefore, Mark II cars also came with increased braking power in the form of front drum brakes with twin leading shoes to cope with the increased power output. Both Mark I and Mark II featured four speed, Gearboxes with rod gear change, aka Magic One type. Automatic gearboxes became available on the Mark II in 1965 as an option. The Mark III facelift of 1966 brought not only wind up windows and fresh air fascia vents, 
but disc brakes replaced front drum brakes too. Concealed door hinges were introduced two years before these were seen on the mainstream Mini. The gear selecting mechanism was updated to the rod type, as seen on all later Mini type cars. Automatic gearboxes were available to the Mark III in 1967 again. Full four synchromesh gearing was eventually introduced during 1968. 30,912 Riley Offs and 28,455 Wilsley Hornets were built. Production ceased in late 1969 when British Leyland discontinued the Riley and Wilsley brand names. Vehicle identification A Euro serial number prefix letter code, first prefix letter A Euro name, R Riley, W Wilsley, second prefix letter A Euro engine type, A, third prefix letter A Euro body type, 2 Zar A Euro two door saloon, fourth prefix A Euro series of model, 1 AA Euro first series, 2 AA Euro 2nd Series, 3 AA Euro 3rd Series, 5th Prefix, La Euro Left Hand Drive, Code Example, RA2S1 154321, Morris Mini Traveller and Austin Mini Countryman. Two door estate cars with double barn style rear doors. Both were built on a slightly longer chassis of 84 inches compared to 80.25 inches for the saloon. The luxury models had decorative, non-structural wood inserts in the rear body which gave the car a similar appearance to the larger Morris Minor Traveller which had some of the look of an American-style 1950s woody. Approximately 108,000 Austin Mini Countrymen and 99,000 Morris Mini Travellers were built. Minivan A commercial panel van rated at a one-quarter ton load capacity. Built on the longer Traveller chassis but with outside windows. It proved popular in 1960s Britain as a cheaper alternative to the car, it was classed as a commercial vehicle and as such carried no sales tax. A set of simple stamped steel slots served in place of a more costly chrome grille. The minivan was renamed as the Mini 95 in 1978, the number representing the gross vehicle weight of 0.95 tons. 521,494 were built. Mini Moke a utility vehicle intended for the British Army was built with a twin-engined four-wheel drive. Although the 4WD Moke could climb a 1-2 gradient, it lacked enough ground clearance for military use. The single-engined front-wheel drive Moke enjoyed some popularity in civilian production. About 50,000 were made in total, from 1964 to 1968 in the UK. 1966 to 1982 in Australia and 1983 to 1989 in Portugal. The Moke was marketed in holiday locations such as Barbados and Macau, where they were also used as police cars. Moke is archaic British slang for a donkey. Mini pickup. A pickup truck, 11 FT in total length was built on the longer minivan platform, with an open top rear cargo area and a tailgate. The factory specified the weight of the pickup as less than 1,500 lb with a full 6 imperial gallons tank of fuel. As with the van, the pickup had stamped metal slots for airflow into the engine compartment. The pickup was basic, although the factory brochure described a fully equipped mini pickup is also available which includes a recirculatory heater, passenger side sun visor, seat belts, laminated windscreen, Tilt tubes and cover were also available at extra cost. Like the van, the pickup was renamed as the Mini 95 in 1978. A total of 58,179 Mini pickup models were built. Brand from Syme Derby Motors, Morris Mini K. Built in the Australian British Motor Corporation factory at Setland, New South Wales, using 80% local content. The Morris Mini K was advertised as the Great Leap Forward. The Mini K had a 1098cc engine and was the last round nose model to be produced in Australia, originally priced at 1780 Australian dollars. The Mini K was offered in two-door saloon and two-door van body styles. It was distinctive in having wind-up windows and a swiveling quarter light in MKI style externally hinged doors. A small round sticker with a kangaroo logo was placed on the triangular panel between the door and the front body seam. Mini Cooper & Cooper S, 1961 a Euro 2000. 
is Sir Gonis friend John Cooper, owner of the Cooper Car Company and designer and builder of Formula One and Rally Cars, saw the potential of the Mini for competition. Isagonis was initially reluctant to see the Mini in the role of a performance car, but after John Cooper appealed to BMC management, the two men collaborated to create the Mini Cooper. The Austin Mini Cooper and Morris Mini Cooper debuted in 1961. The 848 cc engine from the Morris Mini Minor was given a longer stroke to increase capacity to 997 cubic centimeters, increasing power from 34 to 55 or bhp. The car featured a racing-tuned engine, twin SU carburetors, a closer ratio gearbox and front disc brakes, uncommon at the time in a small car. 1,000 units of this version were commissioned by management, intended for and designed to meet the homologation rules of Group 2 rally racing. The 997cc engine was replaced by a shorter stroke 998cc unit in 1964. In 1962, Rhodesian John Love became the first non-British racing driver to win the British Saloon Car Championship driving a Mini Cooper. A more powerful Mini Cooper, dubbed the S, was developed in tandem and released in 1963. Featuring a 1071cc engine with a 70.61 on bore and nitrided steel crankshaft and strength and bottom end to allow further tuning. And larger servo-assisted disc brakes. 4,030 Cooper S cars were produced and sold until the model was updated in August 1964. Cooper also produced two S models specifically for circuit racing in the under 1,000 cc and under 1,300 cc classes respectively, rated at 970 cc and a 1,275 cc, both had a 70.61 on bore and both of which were also offered to the public. The smaller engine model was not well received and only 963 had been built when the model was discontinued in 1965. The 1275 cc Cooper S models continued in production until 1971. Sales of the Mini Cooper were as follows, 64,000 Mark I Coopers with 997 cc or 998 cc engines, 19,000 Mark I Cooper S with 970 cc, 1,071 cc or 1,275 cc engines. 16,000 Mark II Coopers with 998 cc engines. 6,300 Mark II Cooper S with 1,275 cc engines. There were no Mark III Coopers and just 1,570 Mark III Cooper S. The Mini Cooper S won the Monte Carlo Rally in 1964. 1965 and 1967. Minis were initially placed first, second and third in the 1966 rally as well, but were disqualified after a controversial decision by the French judges. The disqualification related to the use of a variable resistance headlamp dimming circuit in place of a dual filament lamp. It should be noted that the Citroën NDS that was eventually awarded first place had illegal white headlamps but escaped disqualification. The driver of the Citroën N, Pauli Toivonen, was reluctant to accept the trophy and vowed that he would never race for Citroën N again. BMC probably received more publicity from the disqualification than they would have gained from a victory. In 1971, the Mini Cooper design was licensed in Italy by Innocenti and in 1973 to Spain by Orthi, which began to produce the Innocenti Mini Cooper 1300 and the Orthi Mini Cooper 1300, respectively. The Cooper name was discontinued from the UK Mini range at this time. A new Mini Cooper named the RSP was briefly relaunched in 1990 Euro 1991, with slightly lower performance than the 1960s Cooper. It proved popular and a new Cooper marked Mini went into full production in late 1991. From 1992, Coopers were fitted with a fuel-injected version of the 1275cc engine, and in 1997 a multi-point fuel-injected engine was introduced, along with a front-mounted radiator and various safety improvements. I love my Mini Cooper, remarked Madonna in 2003. I was too scared to drive a big car in London, the roads are so narrow and I'm always afraid I'm going to hit people on both sides. Mini Clubman and 1275 GT, 1969 a Euro 1980, in 1969, 
Under the ownership of British Leyland, the Mini was given a facelift by stylist Roy Haynes, who had previously worked for Ford. The restyled version was called the Mini Clubman, and as a squarer frontal look, using the same indicator sidelight assembly as the Austin Marxie. The Mini Clubman was intended to replace the upmarket Riley and Wilsley versions. A new model, dubbed the 1275 GT, was slated as the replacement for the 998cc Mini Cooper. The Clubman estate replaced the Countryman and Traveller. The original round front design remained in production alongside the Clubman and 1275 GT. Production of the Clubman and 1275 GT got off to a slow start because the cars incorporated lots of production changes including the relocation of tooling from the manufacturer's Cowley plant to the Longbridge plant. Very few cars were handed over to customers before the early months of 1970. Early domestic market Clubmans were still delivered on cross-ply tires despite the fact that by 1970 radials had become the norm for the car's mainstream competitors. By 1973 new minis were, by default, being shipped with radial tires, though cross plies could be specified by special order, giving British buyers a price saving of A8 pounds. The 1275 GT is often incorrectly described as the Mini Clubman 1275 GT. The official name was always just the Mini 1275 GT, and it was a separate, distinct model from the Clubman. In 1971, the 1275cc Mini Cooper S was discontinued in the UK, leaving the Mini 1275 GT as the only sporting Mini on sale for the rest of the decade. Innocenti in Italy, however, continued making their own version of the Mini Cooper for some time. While the UK-built 1275 GT was not nearly as quick as a 1275 Mini Cooper S, it was cheaper to buy, run, and insure. It was the first Mini to be equipped with a tachometer. It also featured a standard fit close ratio gearbox. Performance of the 1275 GT was lively for the time, achieving 0 a Euro 60 a mile per hour in 12.9 a seconds, and the excellent mid-range torque offered a 30 a Euro 50 a mile per hour time and top gear of only 9 seconds. The bluff front, however, meant that the model struggled to reach 90 a mile per hour. Throughout the 1970s, British Leyland continued to produce the classic 1959 round front design, alongside the newer Clubman and 1275 GT models. The long-nose Clubman and 1275 GT offered better crash safety, were better equipped, and had better under-bonnet access, but they were more expensive and aerodynamically inferior to the original 1959 design. The Mini Clubman and 1275 GT were replaced in 1980 by the new hatchback Austin Metro, while production of the original round front Mini design continued for another 20 years. At the end of Clubman and 1275 GT production, 275,583 Clubman saloons, 197,606 Clubman estates and 110,673 1275 GTs had been made. Australia. For the Australian market, all minis including the van gained the Clubman front in 1971 although the car was still basically a MKI behind the A pillar. The Australian van thus became the only Clubman van produced anywhere in the world. From mid-1971 to the end of 1972, the Clubman GT version of the saloon was produced. This was essentially a Cooper S in Clubman body, equipped with the same 7.5-inch disc brakes twin fuel tanks, and twin carburetta Cooper S1275 cc engine. Australian Clubman saloons were marketed under the Morris Mini Clubman name when introduced in August 1971, and as the Leyland Mini, without the Clubman name, from February 1973. To end Mini production in Australia, a limited edition Runeout model was produced to the 1275 LS. Fitted with a pollution control 1275 cc engine sourced from Europe, the LS had a single 1.5 inch carburetor and 8.4 inch disc brakes. Production of this model commenced in July 1978 and concluded in October 1978 with an approximate total of 810 vehicles produced. Mark III and onwards, 1969 a Euro 2000, 
the Mark III Mini had a modified body shell with enough alterations to see the factory code change from AD015 to AD020. The most obvious changes were larger doors with concealed hinges. Customer demand led to the sliding windows being replaced with winding windows a euro although some Australian manufactured Mark I Minis had adopted this feature in 1965. The suspension reverted from hydroelastic to rubber cones as a cost-saving measure. Production at the Cowley plant was ended, and the simple name Mini completely replaced the separate Austin and Morris brands. In the late 1970s, Innocenti introduced the Innocenti 90 and 120, Batone designed hatchbacks based on the Mini platform. Batone also created a Mini Cooper equivalent, christened the Innocenti de Tommaso, that sported a 1275 cc engine similar to the MG Metro engine, but with an 11 stud head, a special inlet manifold, and used the A clutch instead of the Verto type. It also used homokinetic shafts instead of rubber couplings. In 1978, the Mini was one of the key cars made available to disabled motorists under the new Motability Scheme. The Mini was still popular in Britain but increasingly outdated in the face of newer and more practical rivals. Since the late 1960s, plans had been in place for a newer and more practical Super Mini to replace it, though the Mini was still the only car of the size built by British Leyland for the home market. Reports of the Mini's imminent demise surfaced again in 1980 with the launch of the Austin Mini Metro. The Mini was beginning to fall out of favour in many export markets, with the South African, Australian, and New Zealand markets all stopping production around this time. Although the Mini continued after the Metro's launch, production volumes were reduced as British Leyland and successor combined Rover Group concentrated on the Metro as its key Super Mini. 1981 was the Mini's last year in the top ten of Britain's top-selling cars, as it came ninth and the Metro was fifth. In the summer of 1991, a fiberglass-bodied Mini entered production in Venezuela. The producer, Fukuoka, intended to sell the car in the Caribbean and Central America, and also had plans for Brazilian assembly. Mark III had wind up windows with internal door hinges, except for the van and pickup models. The boot lid lost the original hinged number plate and its recess shape and a large rear color-coded lamp was fitted in its place, along with larger rear side windows. Mark IV had a front rubber mounted subframe with single tower bolts and the rear frame had some larger bushes introduced. Twin stalk indicators were introduced with larger foot pedals. From 1977 onwards, the rear indicator lamps had the reverse lights incorporated in them. In 1980, the engine was upgraded to the improved A plus unit from the Metro. Mark V all cars had 8.4-inch brake discs and plastic wheel arches but retained the same Mark IV body shell shape. Mark VI, the engine mounting points were moved forward to take 1275 cc power units, and includes the later HIF version of the SU carb, plus the single-point fuel-injected car which came out in 1991. The 998 cc power units were discontinued. An internal bonnet release was fitted from 1992. Mark 7 was the final version, twin point injection with front mounted radiator. Full width dashboard replaces the original shelf, internal bonnet release. Introduction of airbag on driver's side. And of production, throughout the 1980s and 1990s, the British market received numerous special editions of the Mini which shifted the car from a mass-market item into a fashionable icon. It was this image that perhaps helped the Mini become such an asset for BMW, which later bought the remnants of BMC as the Rover Group. It was even more popular in Japan, which took the lion's share of the circa 40,000 Minis produced annually in the early 1990s. It was seen there as a retro-cool icon, and inspired many imitators. The ERA Mini Turbo was particularly popular with Japanese buyers. In 1994, under Bandpish Reader, a first cousin once removed of Visagonis, BMW took control of the Rover Group, which included the Mini, fitting an airbag to comply with European legislation. By March 2000, Rover was still suffering massive losses, and BMW decided to dispose of most of the companies. The sell-off was completed in May that year. MG and Rover went to Phoenix, 
a new British consortium. And Land Rover was sold to Ford Motor Company. BMW retained the Mini name in the planned new model, granting Rover temporary rights to the brand and allowing it to manufacture and sell the run-out model of the old Mini. By April 2000, the range consisted of four versions, the Mini Classic 7, the Mini Classic Cooper, the Mini Classic Cooper Sport and a Euro for overseas European markets a Euro the Mini Knightsbridge. The last Mini was built on October 4, 2000 and presented to the British Motor Industry Heritage Trust in December of that year. A total of 5,387,862 cars had been manufactured. After the last of the Mini production had been sold, the Mini name reverted to BMW ownership. The new BMW Mini is technically unrelated to the old car but retains the classic transverse four-cylinder, front-wheel drive configuration and iconic bulldog stance of the original. The last Mini to leave the Longbridge plant did so in 2012, when a 1970s 1275 GT which was used by staff to travel around the car plant was recovered from the disused tunnels under the plant. The car was damaged by a storage container falling on it and had been left without an engine or gearbox for around 30 years before being recovered during work to infill the tunnels. This car was sold at auction in July 2013 for a £1,400. Timeline, August 1959, Introduction of the Austin 7, Morris Mini Minor and Morris Mini Minor DL2 Door Saloons, all with transversely mounted 848cc engine and four-speed manual gearbox. 1960, introduction of the Austin 7 Countryman and Morris Mini Minor Traveller three-door estates, both with 848cc engine from the saloon models. 116,667 cars built in the first full year of production. 1961, Introduction of the Austin 7 Super and Morris Mini Minor Super Two Door Saloons. 1961, Introduction of the Austin Mini Cooper and Morris Mini Cooper Two Door Saloon, both with larger 997cc 55 bhp engine. January 1962, all former Austin 7 models now officially called Austin Mini. March 1962, PVC seat covers replaced cloth upholstery on entry level model. 1962, Deluxe, and Super Designations discontinued. Super Deluxe designation introduced. Modified instrument panel now included oil pressure and water temperature gauges. March 1963, introduction of the Austin Mini Cooper 1071S and Morris Mini Cooper 1071S two-door saloons, both with larger 1071 a CC70 a BHP engine. 1964, Introduction of the Mini Moke. April 1964, Introduction of the Austin and Morris Mini Cooper 998, Mini Cooper 970S and Mini Cooper 1275S. 1275S models have 1275cc 76 bhp engine. Automatic transmission available as an option for the 998cc Austin Mini Cooper 998 and 1275s previous Mini Cooper 997 and 1071s models dropped. 1965, Mini Cooper 970s discontinued. October 1965 Automatic transmission now available as an option on standard Austin Morris Mini and Morris Mini SDL. October 1967, Mark II range launched with facelift and upgraded equipment. Austin Mini range as follows, 850, 1000, Cooper 998 and Cooper 1275S two-door saloons and 1000 Countryman three-door estate. Morris Mini range as follows, 850, 850 SDL, 1000 SDL. Cooper 998 and Cooper 1275S two-door saloons and 1000 Traveller three-door estate. Optional automatic transmission available on all Austin models and Morris Mini 1000 SDL saloon. September 1968, manual four-speed gearbox with synchromation all four forward ratios introduced. March 1969, Launch of the Morris Mini K, an Australian only model manufactured in the Australian British Motor Corporation factory at Settland NSW using 80% local content. October 1969, separate Austin and Morris badging now merged into Mini 850 Mini 1000 badging. 
range reduced to 850, 1000, Clubman, Cooper S and 1275 GT2 door saloon and Clubman 3 door estate. Optional automatic transmission available on all except 1275 GT. April 1974, a heater became standard equipment on the entry level Mini 850. 1980, the Mini becomes the Austin Mini, 1988, the Austin Mini becomes the Rover Mini. Limited Editions From the Mark IV onward, many special limited production editions of the Mini were offered. These included models that were created to commemorate racing victories or to celebrate an anniversary of the Mini Mark. Limited editions generally came equipped with a unique combination of interior and exterior trim and special decals. Examples include Mini 1100 Special, Mini 1000 Special Hill, Mini Rio, Mini Mayfair, Mini Park Lane, Mini Italian Job, Mini Cooper RSP, Mini Flame, Mini Red Hot, Mini Jet Black, Mini Racing and the Mini Monza. Concepts and Unproduced Prototypes from 1967 to 1979, Isagonis had been designing a replacement for the Mini in the form of an experimental model called the 9X. It was longer and more powerful than the Mini, but due to politicking inside British Leyland, the car did not reach production. A number of prototypes produced for vehicles based on the Mini but which never saw production are held and sometimes displayed at the British Heritage Motor Centre Museum at Gaydon, Warwickshire. These included the Twinny, a re-engineered four-wheel drive Moog with two engines a Euro one at the front and another at the back. The Austin Ant, a second attempt to produce a four-wheel drive vehicle, this time using a transfer case. And a two-seater convertible MG edition of the Mini, cancelled due to it being perceived as competition for the MG Midget. In 1992, a project considering possible improvements to the Mini was started. Codenamed Minky, it included a redesigned dashboard, a two-piece rear door or tailgate instead of a boot, fold-down rear seats, hydragas suspension and a three-cylinder version of the K-Series engine with a five-speed gearbox. However, the project was cancelled by management within Rover, who decided that the cost of engineering the changes, and achieving compliance with modern crash testing standards, was too great for the production volumes that could be expected of an updated Mini. In 1995 the idea to update the Mini again surfaced but this time with BMW management. As part of a process of deciding how to replace the Mini, a vehicle representing what the current Mini could have become, if it had been developed further over its production history, was commissioned. This resulted in the Minky II, designed to house the 1.4 LMPI K-series engine with an extensive redesign inside, but without the original Minky's tailgate. The car had to be widened by 50 mm and lengthened by 50 mm to accommodate the new engine and gearbox, with Hydraga's suspension and dashboard from a Rover 100. The Minky II was used for Hydraga's development work, this suspension being considered at the time for the R59 project, later to become the Mini Hatch. Kit Cars and Customization The cheapness and availability of used Minis make it a candidate for body replacement. There are over 120 Mini-based kit cars from various small companies and individual enthusiasts. BMC operated a competition department at Abingdon, Oxfordshire, under the control of Stuart Turner, which built specially prepared Minis to compete in international rallies and other motorsport. This department played a key role in ensuring the Minis' huge success in motorsport throughout the 1960s, in particular, winning the Monte Carlo Rally in 1964, 1965 and 1967, and dominating all of the first nine positions in the 1966 Galley of 500 at Bathurst. The car also won the 1961, 1962, 1969, 1978 and 1979 British Saloon Car Championship season. Awards The Mini has won many awards over the years, perhaps the most notable include, Car of the Century, Number One Classic Car of All Time, and European Car of the Century in a worldwide Internet poll run by the prestigious Global Automotive Elections Foundation in 1999. The Mini managed second place for Global Car of the Century in that same poll. In the end 5.3 million Minis were sold, making it the most popular British car ever made. Sales 
At its peak, the Mini was a strong seller in most of the countries where it was sold, with the United Kingdom inevitably receiving the highest volumes. It dominated the Mini car market until the arrival of the Hillman Imp in 1963. It outsold the Imp. Competition arrived with the more modern and practical Vauxhall Chevette of 1975, but the Mini continued to sell well until its replacement a Euro the Metro a Euro arrived in 1980. By this time, the Mini's design had been overtaken by numerous more modern and practical vehicles. Although the Metro did not replace the Mini, production figures for the Mini dipped during the 1980s, and interest in the design was not revived until the reintroduction of the Mini Cooper in 1989. This helped sales of the Mini through the 1990s, to the end of production on October 4, 2000. A total of 1,581,887 Minis were sold in Britain after its launch in 1959. The last new one to be registered was sold in 2004, some four years after the end of production. United States Between 1960 and 1967, BMC exported approximately 10,000 left-hand drive BMC Minis to the United States. Sales were discontinued when stricter federal safety standards were imposed in 1968 and the arrival of the larger and more profitable Austin America. Mini sales fell in the 1967 calendar year and the U.S. importer was expecting the forthcoming Austin America to find a larger market. However, the America was also withdrawn in 1972 due to slow sales and the introduction of bumper height standards. Safety Record Isagonis designed the Mini with an emphasis on active safety. Asked about the crashworthiness of the Mini he said I make my cars with such good brakes, such good steering, that if people get into a crash it is their own fault and I don't need a Euro unregistered trademark T design my cars to have accidents. In July 1965 BMC announced that following comments by safety experts about the Mini's external door handles, these would be modified on new cars so that the gap between the handle and the door panel would be effectively closed. Nicholas Faith states in his book that Murray Mackay, one of the UK's leading motor vehicle crash and safety researchers, was critical of the pre-1967 Mini's passive safety features, including the protruding filler cap, the door latch, and the vulnerability of the passenger space to engine intrusion. The Mini was withdrawn from the American market because it could not meet the 1968 U.S. safety regulations and emission standards, and although often updated, not sufficiently to comply with U.S. regulations. It continued to be sold in Canada until 1979. The Mini was modified during its production to improve its safety. In 1974 a prototype Mini experimental safety vehicle was built, the Mini Clubman SRV4. It featured a longer crumple zone, a pedestrian-friendly front end, run-flat tires, strengthened door sills, extra internal padding and recessed door handles, the latter having been used earlier on Australian-built Minis owing to local laws. Jack Daniels, one of the original Isagonis team, is stated to have been working on further safety improvements for the Mini when he retired in 1977. Several times it was thought that safety regulations would stop Mini production safety improved in 1996, with the introduction of airbags and side impact bars. The Mini, challenged by increasingly demanding European safety and pollution standards, was planned by British Aerospace to be taken out of production in 1996, but BMW chose to invest to keep the Mini legal until the launch of the BMW Mini. In January 2007 which magazine listed the Mini City in its 10 worst cars for safety list, alongside other economical, lightweight, fuel-efficient cars like the Hyundai Pony 1.2L, Fiat Panda 900 Super, Suzuki Alto GL, Daihatsu Domino, Citroën NX 11 RE, Yugo 45 and 55. Peugeot 205 gallons, and the Citroën N2 CV6. A UK Department for Transport Statistics publication, presenting estimates of the risk of driver injury and do car injury collisions, based on reported road accident data, estimated that the 1990 Euro 2000 Mini was one of two small cars, which, with an estimated 84% of drivers likely to be injured, presented the greatest risk of driver injury.
the average risk for the small car category was 76%. 50th anniversary, several key events marked the 50th anniversary of the Mini in 2009. On January 13, 2009, the Royal Mail released a limited edition of stamps entitled British Design Classics, featuring an original, eggshell blue, MK1 Mini, registration XAA274. On May 17, a world record parade of 1,450 minis congregated at Crystal Palace as part of a London to Brighton run. The following week, 10,000 minis and 25,000 people attended an anniversary party at Silverstone Circuit on the Buckinghamshire Northamptonshire border. Between 7 Euro August 10, 2009 approximately 4,000 minis from around the world congregated at Longbridge, Birmingham to celebrate the 50th anniversary. On August 26, 2009, Smolka Bigotty launched in London to provide sightseeing tours of the capital in a fleet of restored Mini Coopers. Mini's name today, Mini is both the name of a subsidiary of BMW, and a car produced by that subsidiary since 2001. The car is marketed as a retro redesign of the original Mini, and manufactured in Cowley, Oxford, United Kingdom, in what was historically the Morris car plant. See also, List of Mini-based cars, List of best-selling vehicle nameplates, London to Brighton events, List of Mini limited editions, Mini, references. External links, Austin Memories A Euro History of Austin and Longbridge, Heritage Motor Century A Euro A Collection of British Heritage Cars and Artifacts, including many historic Minis, Mini prototypes, and an Isagonis collection. Mini at DMOZ, Isagonis in the One Millionth Mini.